Hey, how's it going? Ralph here. This should be a, a pretty quick one. We're just going to look at uh, system D targets. So with uh, with system D moving away from the uh, init based system, we no longer have this concept of run levels, but we deal with targets. And let me just kind of show you how they are uh, managed and configured on your system. So get my screen share going. All right, so from an objective standpoint, uh, really what we're looking at here is we're just looking at the uh, the objective here to boot systems into different targets uh, manually. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look. So this can be a quick look at uh, at targets. Let me just jump on to my boxes here. All right, so with a lot of the system D commands, we do manage uh, system D. Uh, with the uh, with the system control command, go ahead and open up a terminal here. So you'll notice here that if I well, let me go ahead and uh, see out the root here. If I type in system CTL and then I just go ahead and hit tab twice, the the commands that we're really going to look at here. Um, if we want to change our targets, okay, then we would use the, uh, the isolate command. Uh, in order to view what our current default is, it's the get default command. And then in order to set the default uh, uh, target, we use the set default command. All right, so then that's really all we need to worry about. Now, in terms of the, uh, the target, so if I say system control here, and then I say isolate, and then I hit tab twice, you'll see that the targets that I'm, uh, the options that I'm given here would include the uh, the multi-user target, which, you know, is sort of synonymous with what we traditionally thought of as uh, run level three. And then we have the, the graphical target, which is uh, what we would traditionally call like run level five. Um, we also have the emergency target and the rescue targets. Those are both kind of similar to, you know, things like single user mode. Uh, keep in mind that both of those do have a uh, a SU logon, and so you'll have to know the root password in order to enter into uh, those particular target levels. So right now I'm in the graphical target, so that allows me to run graphical tools. Uh, if I were to isolate over to the, let's say, the multi-user target, mm -hmm. you'll see I'll go back to this sort of traditional CLI uh, type of interface, the traditionally what we would call run level three. The well, let me get, go ahead and get myself logged back in. Now, if I I could just do a system control isolate here and go ahead and go back to my graphical target uh, to support command completion. So you know you can use tab to help you out there. That would take me back into uh, the graphical target. Now, if we want to look at the the default configuration, let me get logged in here, student. And let me get a terminal fired up. And when I run system control get default here, in here, so if I do a system CTL and then I say get default, you'll see that the default is a graphical target. If I want to modify the default, so system CTL set default, and I can make the default, let's say, for example, my multi-user target. All right. So now when I reboot, what you'll see is that the system will come up to that CLI uh, traditional multi-user with networking type of interface. Now, obviously, I can change to the graphical interface again using system control uh, and then the uh, the isolate command. So, if I wanted to, you know, use the graphical firewall tool, for example, or something like that, and I was in uh, the multi-user target, it would be uh, fairly easy for me to just get myself logged in. And then from here, I can do a system CTL isolate and then isolate to the graphical target. 
and that would get me into the uh, the graphical environment. So really, I mean, what you what you should know how to do uh, from my perspective is you should know how to uh, change your target okay, dynamically, and that's with System Control Isolate. You should be able to view the default target okay, with the System Control Get Default. And then lastly, you know, you should be able to set the default target with the system control uh, set default. So as I said, you know, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, that's probably about as quick as the RHCSA tip of the week gets. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely something that you need to know how to do. Uh, but it's a relatively uh, simple thing to get done. So we'll see you again next week.